I like me to condemn white proud supremacists boys. and right proud militia. Proud boys, stand back and stand by. Clear about your obligation. And we are digging into one of the most talked about moments of last night's chaotic presidential debate, how Georgians are now reacting now. And I tell you what, politics grabbing more headlines as we count down to election day, Cheryl. No question about it. And more eyes on Georgia with the gap between President Donald Trump and Democratic challenger Joe Biden too narrow to call here. Last night, the first presidential debate. Today, Vice President Mike Pence in Cobb County speaking to a group of Christian conservatives who hope to keep Georgia red in November. 11 Alive's Doug Richards has more on what they thought about last night's face-off in Cleveland. Vice President Pence spoke at the Cobb Galleria in the exact same room that President Trump spoke in during an appearance last week. And many of the visitors here were just as intrigued by a Trump appearance last night on the debate stage. I watched it. Uh, I thought it was a little bit crazy. <laughs> uh, it was a bit of a, a mess. <laughs> These were affectionate observations from hearty Trump supporters who helped fill a room focused on religious conservatism. I believe that Trump is doing the best that he can as a, uh, a man of God and also as supporting the evangelical community. Um, I believe that he stands up for us as evangelicals. They were here for Vice President Mike Pence, who, unlike the president, identifies as an evangelical Christian and who also watched Tuesday night's debate. President Donald Trump knows how to fight for what we believe in and he won that presidential debate hands down. The president's debate style was just fine with conservatives who already had no intention of changing their minds in the presidential race. He fights back and I think if he sat back a little bit and let Biden hang himself he would have done a better job but I think overall he got a lot of points across yeah. in between the chaos. I think President Trump is very passionate in what he believes in. And I believe that uh, in regards to how he conducted himself, again, he's a very passionate man and strong in his belief system. Some Trump backers declined to answer questions, however. One of them passing by simply told me that he hopes that the next debate will be better.